Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Learn English with Blaine. And if this is your first time here, then welcome to my channel. And this is your intermediate dictation number 88. And in this video, we are going to continue our look at complex sentences. So, do you have your pen and paper ready? Because remember that you are going to listen and then write what you hear. Now, in the video, there will be five dictations, and I will say each one three times. Do not worry if you make a few spell mistakes, and do not worry if you can't write every word. You are going to get better with practice. Now, after you write the dictation, remember to look for the dependent clause and the independent clause. Remember that complex sentences are sentences composed of a dependent clause and an independent clause. The dependent clause will begin with what we call a subordinated conjunction. Now, here are just a few examples of subordinate conjunctions. So we've got because, until, after, as soon as, and though. So these are just a few of what we call subordinate conjunctions. Now, let's first look at an example. Marta drove to work because she missed her car. Marta drove to work because she missed her car. Now, in this sentence, Marta drove to work, that is the independent clause. In other words, it can be a stand-alone sentence. Because she missed her bus is what we call the dependent clause. In other words, this section can stand alone, but this section cannot. Okay, so remember, we've got dependent, sorry, independent, dependent, independent, dependent. Now, when we look at this sentence, Marta drove to work because she missed her bus. Okay, so again, we've got the, the independent clause and then the dependent clause. Or we could say this. We could say, because Marta missed her bus, she drove to work. In other words, quite often, we can put the dependent clause first, and then we could put the independent clause. When we do this, notice the comma, right? So when we begin with the conjunction, with the word like because, after that clause is over, and before the subject of the independent clause, there's going to be a comma here. Okay, so we're going to look at, as we go through our dictations, you're going to find a few more examples. And remember to check out the links in the description of this video to learn more about complex sentences. Um, I, am, I will be adding more exercises there soon, so go back and check every so often. And I'll be doing some quizzes as well that will help you to learn more about these types of sentences. Okay, anyways, let's get started with our first dictation. Dictation number one, and I will read it once all the way through, and then I will repeat two more times. Dictation number one, because they had such a nice time together last week, comma, Maria and her mother made plans to get together again very soon, period. They may get together as early as next week, exclamation. Because they had, because they had such a nice time together, such a nice time together last week, last week, comma, Maria and her mother, Maria and her mother made plans 
to get together again, made plans to get together again very soon, very soon, period. They may get together, they may get together as early as, as early as next week, next week. Okay, so I'll give you 15 seconds to finish. Because they had such a nice time together last week, comma, Maria and her mother made plans to get together again very soon, period. They may get together as early as next week, exclamation. Because they had such a nice time together last week, Maria and her mother made plans to get together again very soon. They may get together as early as next week, exclamation. Now, this dictation has got a simple sentence and it has a complex sentence. And remember that the complex sentence will have an independent clause and also a dependent clause. So I'll give you just a moment to find that. Okay, and it is right here. One second. Right here. Okay, so in this, so the whole complex sentence is from here to here. In this sentence, we are beginning with the dependent clause and the, and the subordinate conjunction because. Because they had such a nice time together last week, comma, Maria and her mother made plans to get together again very soon. So these two clauses together make one complex sentence. Okay, so let's move along to our next dictation, dictation number two. My sister didn't leave the party until Robert arrived, period. She really doesn't like walking alone at night in the dark, period. Okay, now I will repeat. My sister didn't leave the party. My sister didn't leave the party until Robert arrived, period. Until Robert arrived, period. She really doesn't like walking alone. She really doesn't like walking alone at night in the dark, at night in the dark, period. Okay, so this is what I said. My sister didn't leave the party until Robert arrived, period. She really doesn't like walking alone at night in the dark, period. My sister didn't leave the party until Robert arrived. She really doesn't like walking alone at night in the dark. Okay, so this is, there's a complex sentence here. And I'm wondering if you could see it. Let's take a look. It is right here. So here is a complex sentence. My sister didn't leave the party until Robert arrived. My sister didn't leave the party until Robert arrived. So here we see the subordinate conjunction, right? And then we've got a subject and a verb. 
So whenever we have a subject and a verb, that's going to be a clause. Now, it's not, it's, it's dependent. In other words, it cannot stand by itself. This one can. My sister didn't leave the party. That's a complete sentence. And then this piece right here is dependent on this piece right here. Remember, everyone, if you have any questions, you can leave those in the uh, comment section of the video, and I'll be glad to respond. But for now, let's move along to our third dictation. Dictation number three. Dictation number three. Our little dog doesn't like it when we go out without her, period. After we leave the house, comma, she cries for about an hour, exclamation. Our little dog, our little dog doesn't like it, doesn't like it. When we go out, when we go out without her, without her, period. After we leave the house, comma, after we leave the house, comma, she cries for about an hour. She cries for about an hour. Exclamation. Our little dog doesn't like it when we go out without her, period. After we leave the house, comma, she cries for about an hour, exclamation. Our little dog doesn't like it when we go out without her. After we leave the house, she cries for about an hour. Now, in the, sen in the dictation, we see one complex sentence, and I wonder if you can see it. I'll give you a moment to find it, and then I will reveal it to you. Okay, everyone, the complex sentence is right here. So, in this case again, we are beginning the sentence with the dependent clause. After we leave the house. After we leave the house. Here we see the subordinate conjunction. And because we are beginning with the dependent clause, we're going to have a comma here. And then this is the independent clause. She cries for about an hour. So after we leave the house, she cries for about an hour. That is the complex sentence. Okay, everyone, so let's move along to our next dictation. Dictation number four. Dictation number four. Mike bought a new phone as soon as his old one broke down because he really needs it for his school assignments. I'm going to repeat that again. Mike bought a new phone as soon as his old one broke down because he really needs it for his school assignments. So let's read through it a couple more times, a little bit slower. Mike bought a new phone. Mike bought a new phone as soon as, as soon as, his old one broke down. As soon as his old one broke down. Because he really needs it. Because he really needs it for his school assignments. For his school assignments. Period.
Mike bought a new phone as soon as his old one broke down because he really needs it for his school assignments. Period. Mike bought a new phone as soon as his old one broke down because he really needs it for his school assignments. Okay, so I'll give you a few more seconds to finish your writing. Okay, and this is what I said. Mike bought a new phone as soon as his old one broke down because he really needs it for his school assignments. Mike bought a new phone as soon as his old one broke down because he really needs it for his school assignments. Okay, so this is a complex, it's one long complex sentence. And it's, it's actually got two independent clauses. So it's got one independent clause and two independents. So I'll give you a moment to look for those. And then we will talk about it. Okay. So Mike bought a new phone. This is a sentence. Subject, verb, complete thought, it can stand by itself. Mike bought a new phone. Now here we see two, two dependent clauses beginning with the conjunction as soon as and because. Mike bought a new phone that's independent as soon as his old one broke down. That is dependent and then because he really needs it for his school assignments. So we've got one a uh, complex sentence with an independent clause, of course, a sentence, and then two, two dependent clauses connected uh, to each other. Okay, so let's move along to our last dictation of the video, dictation number five. Dictation number five. Though she just bought a new pair last week, comma, Tola bought a new pair of sunglasses this week because they were on sale, period. She can't say no to a great sale, exclamation. Though she just bought, though she just bought a pair last week, a pair last week, Comma, Tola bought a new pair of sunglasses. Tola bought a new pair of sunglasses this week. This week. Because they were on sale. Because they were on sale. Period. She can't say no. She can't say no to a great sale to a great sale exclamation Though she just bought a pair last week, comma, Tola bought a new pair of sunglasses this week because they were on sale, period. She can't say no to a great sale, exclamation. Though she just bought a pair last week, comma, Tola bought a new pair of sunglasses this week because they were on sale. She can't say no to a great sale. Well, interesting, in this sentence, we have a complex sentence. I'll give you a moment to find that uh, complex sentence, and then we'll discuss. we'll discuss it right afterwards. Okay, so that complex sentence is here. So the complex sentence is from here 
to here. So we begin the sentence with a complex, with a um, dependent clause. Those she just bought a pair last week, okay? And then we've got the independent clause. Tola bought a new pair of sunglasses this week. This is inde independent. But then we have another dependent clause at the end because they were on sale. So those she just, those she just bought a pair last week, that's dependent. And because they were on sale is another dependent clause. And then in the middle, we've got the independent clause. Tola bought a new pair of sunglasses this week. And that brings us to the end. But let's here just uh, let's just take a quick look at some of the examples that we looked at earlier. So we've got because, until, after, as soon as, and though. So these are just five of the many different types of supporting conjunctions that we can use in our writing. Well, I want to thank all of you for watching the video today. I really, really do appreciate it. And remember, leave your comments or questions in the comment section. I always really appreciate those. And if you like this video, please remember to share, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you soon in the next video. And have yourself a great day.